NFL season's kicking off, and of course, we have sports betting winning big with legal sports betting spreading like wildfire all over the country. The American Gaming Association says 46 million of us, 18% of the U.S. adult population, plan to bet on NFL games this season. That's a more than 40% increase since 2020. So what's behind the league's gambling boom? I guess a betting boom is a better way to say it. What are the best bets to make? Here to help break it all down, Eric Mitchell, president at Life Flip Sports, joining us now. Are you in Folsom? Remind me again. No, I, I moved to Texas, of all places. You so did? I, I'm, in, I'm in beautiful Texas, what we call football country. Uh, which, yes. Which, that's all I've heard about this week. We have a huge college football game tomorrow, which I know we're not talking about, but I'd be wrong <laughs> if I didn't live in Texas and said, Alabama plays Texas tomorrow. Everyone should probably check out that game because it's the game of the week. But here in football land, we're talking about our favorite topic, which is football. Yes, and, and you are in football land for darn sure oh, yes. because it's, it's, it's a religion in Texas. Uh, let's talk it about is. it. We talk about how many millions more people are actually sports betting. Uh, but, again, it's like how much is the average bet? Do we know how much people are actually putting on the table or putting uh, on their virtual app? The virtual, you're seeing about $20 is the average. That's mm -hmm. a safe bet. Here's something that's great, Adrian, that I really like that these the Gaming Association has made sure to be clear about. All of these apps are making sure to tell people, hey, don't bet a lot or don't bet at all. If you don't have it, don't bet it. That's their real big push, which you haven't seen before, right? You've never really seen that besides unless you walked on a casino floor in Las Vegas. It was the only time you ever were warned, please don't spend money you don't have. You're seeing that as a heavy push kind of going back and forth. It's basically telling you to gamble, but at the same time, be careful, which yes. I guess is completely different. But it's good to see because we don't want people spending money they don't have. Right. And, and obviously, you know, the co topics about addiction and losing Absolutely. money and being irresponsible come up. And, and those are certainly things that we should still think about. But if you were a betting man this weekend, what would you be betting on? Well, I'm going to lead off because, again, in Texas. So the Cowboys face Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. This is an odd game. Last last year, the kickoff game was these two teams in Tampa Bay. This is a little different. Everybody's talking about Dak Prescott and his ankle. And I think the bigger story is Tom Brady and everything going in off the field that is hitting every tabloid in everywhere. Tom Brady is the news. His wife's actually not traveling with him to the game, which is big because she usually goes everywhere for big games. And there's a lot of issues here. And I actually believe that the Cowboys are going to upset the team. Everybody thinks and even the Vegas odds line have as going to the Super Bowl, the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, that's one of them. Another one is the Bengals versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why I believe that the Cincinnati Bengals are the going to be the AFC East champs, uh, AFC North champs. I just don't want the AFC fans getting mad at me here. Mm -hmm. the, I think the Steelers are going to have a good fight. They have a great defense with TJ Watt. And Mike Tomlinson is one of the best coaches ever of the game. I think it's going to be close, but I think the Steelers pull that out. And, of course, it would be right talking in Chicago. I know the Bears face the mighty 49ers, and I believe the Niners are going to come in even with their quarterback controversy. And don't get me wrong, love Justin Fields. believe the Bears have a great future with Justin. I do believe that the Niners are going to come in with that dominant defense. And no matter who's behind the helm, they have amazing weapons on that offense. And the Niners come in and upset, or not upset, but they just come in and beat the Bears. Interesting on this one, the Bears and the 49ers in 2021 have a combined record when you're betting on them taking the under of being 15 and 22. That's combined for both teams. That was their record. So just make sure you keep that in mind if you're betting the right. over or the under on a game. All right. It's Eric Mitchell, good to see you as always. Thank you. Thanks, Adrian. Happy football watching. Well, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.